walk up in the club and say Everybody want to know my name Yeah, here comes the glass roll Yeah, here comes the glass roll I don't know how many of y'all follow me on Instagram, but I've been a little angry about the U.S. military's sleeping bag problem. This thing's huge. It's synthetic. It's cheaper to manufacture. Our military spends, we, our government spends more money on the military than anything in the world, pretty much. <laughs> but um, they, at the same time, are giving our troops really crappy sleeping bags because that one is double the size of this. This is the one I carry. In this bag right here, I can carry a lot more than just that, uh, just just a sleeping bag that will keep me warm because this, this bag is warmer, but it's also that much smaller. And the reason it's so much smaller, like I said on Instagram, is they use down feathers, like they take the feathers off geese. I don't know if they have to pluck their feathers or what, but okay, so in this bag I have long underwear, I have a jacket and I have an incredibly comfortable sleeping bag. My bag was um, $300 because it's a long and the military bag is $500. So my bag is rated at 20 degrees by the company. The company decided to not go by the other standard. They went by their own standard and they're rated at 20 degrees. The other sleeping bag, the military one I bought, it was rated at negative 50 degrees. <laughs> and um, I can tell you when you have all the bags on for the negative 50 degree warmth, um, you um, are incredibly uncomfortable because the system is not very good when you're wearing all the bags. But even if you do wear all the bags, you will freeze your ass off in 30 degree weather. Um, I had it out in like 34 degree weather in Waco, Texas, and it was one of the coldest nights I've ever spent out. Um, I had this sleeping bag out, the small one, for in 32 degree weather in Colorado. And I'm telling you, Colorado, that's, that, that weather can pierce your bag. Um, I, I know because I, I know what, how cold Colorado can get at night, even during the summer. And all I'm saying is um, the bag that's $300 is a million times better than the American military bag that's $500. And we all have to ask ourselves, why is that the case? Because, okay, so when you're a, tr when you're a soldier and you're out there wearing this huge pack that's heavy, um, does it affect your mobility? Yeah. So when you're um, at, at war, do you need to be mobile? Yeah. Um, how, why do we know that that's important? Well, because um, one of the best tank commanders in history, I'm pretty sure it was Abrams, right? Um, like, was he the one that came up with like really fast uh, tank style um, warfare? Um, uh, I, maybe not. Maybe it was the Germans that actually came up with it. But um, what I do know is that um, one, w like what, what militaries have done throughout history is they've gotten faster and they've gotten uh, stronger. Like they, they pack a larger punch and that's the goal of all of it. And so if you're trying to get faster, like say that I have a sniper who's like trying to get into position and he's wearing a pack because he's got to carry all his crap with him because they have gear. Kind of like I have a camera that I'm going to be carrying up these mountains um, or that I do carry up mountains and uh, it's super heavy and it's super difficult to get up the mountain because it's like steep. I just climbed, um, I think it was like 5,500 5, feet up. Um, that's the elevation gain that I went up. I don't know what that is in centimeters uh, or in meters, but it's a, it's, it's a lot. And all I'm saying is... Um, I went, um, like I, I was wearing a pack and like I, it mattered so much that my pack was lightweight. And so, um, like, I'm just saying like, why didn't anyone care about the troops sleeping bags? I mean, I'm just saying like, you spend that much money. Why did no one care about them? And I mean, did the troops not complain? I mean, like I, I'm, I'm the type of soldier that would be like, Hey, uh, can I bring my own sleeping bag? Because I can't deal with your sleeping bag. Your sleeping bag sucks. Can I just buy my own? And then what they would say is, uh, oh, no, nope, that's against the rules. We all got to be the same, right? I don't know. Um, I'm sorry that I'm beating a dead horse, but all I'm saying is like, when you're in a war situation, when it's life and death, the, the, the speed at which you move makes a difference. And uh, if you're going that much slower, if you're that tired so you have to stop, 
then you're dead because you're trying to get through a through an area. I, I'm just saying, like, um, pack weight matters, and I, I don't understand why no one cared about it. That's all. Um, I hope you guys um, look at the military again and say, okay, um, are we making purchasing, purchasing decisions based on friendships instead of based on um, quality of the product that we're buying?